our tests really range in price. So tests are based upon how large a gene might be, the technology that we use for that test. So currently we employ standard Sanger sequencing. We also employ next generation sequencing. And for deletions and duplications, we use what's called comparative genomic hybridization, so array CGH. And using those technologies, we can really test for uh, different, different point mutations, so differences in the DNA sequence, but also larger aberrations, large deletions, large duplications uh, that are associated with disease. So cost of the tests really varies just on the technology, but I would say a good range is from, say, $240 up to several thousand dollars, depending upon the test. So a single gene might cost $250. A large panel of genes might cost $1,000 or more than that. Many tests are covered by insurance. So we work with insurance companies to do pre-authorizations when needed, to, to find out if a person is eligible for insurance coverage, and to help work through the, the process of paying for these tests uh, through their insurance coverage. Um, there's a lot of different ways that tests can be billed. They can be billed to the institution. They can be billed to the individual. Um, but many of our tests are covered by insurance.